Hey guys, Sal's Royal Navy here. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't done a gaming video in a few weeks. Um, what happened was I tried to play through chapter two of Frequency Missing and it took me like almost 50 minutes to finish it and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wait for this thing to upload. Um, so what I've done is I've set a timer and when the timer goes off, no matter what's happening, I'm gonna quit the game. Um, it auto saves, so I should be okay. And that will be the strategy from here on out. Um, so yeah, when we left off, um, Patricia and Carl were trying to open the uh, safe in Richard's office. So let's find out what happens. Dice World, frequency missing. Welcome to Frequency Missing. Frequency Missing. This direct touch area. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. Right. Main menu. New game. Drag help. Continue. Carl! What is it? I managed to get into Richard's office. Someone had turned the place over, but unlike me, they didn't find the hidden safe. We have to open it. Nice. I have an idea. Should we go to his office? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here, take this contact microphone, place it on the safe, and you might be able to hear when it unlocks. Wouldn't it be quicker if you did it? You found it, so it's only fair that you open it as well. I'll keep watch and let you know if someone's coming. Okay, Richard. Let's see what secrets you've hidden in here. So, uh, how do I do this? With the contact microphone, you should be able to hear the click from the locking mechanism. When you hear the clunk of the locking bar, you should stop and drag in the other direction. I think these kind of locks usually start to the right, so drag to the right until you hear a clunk, then switch directions. Keep doing that until the safe is open. No, I think I missed. You'll have to start over and go to the right. These kind of locks probably reset if you do it wrong. Ugh. Hmm, I don't think that's right. Dang it. Start over and try again. Yes! Patricia versus locks. Nothing. Yes. Now let's see what you thought was worth hiding, Richard. What did you find? A tape. I wonder what's on it. Hmm. We better listen to this in our office. Let's load the reel into my tape recorder and hear what secrets are hidden on it. Well, what's wrong with your tape recorder? It's not my recorder, it's the tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll fix it. You'll have to give me a few days. Chapter two. April 14th, the chief has given me my first assignment. I'm to interview Samuel Silverglands about the renovation and development of the Duke Silverglands Club. A lot of members are big shots. My boss among them. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to make the best story I can. I'm already on thin ice after that incident in the newsroom. Sadly, I didn't have time to do much research, but apparently Samuel Silverglan's father passed away about a month ago. Oh, wow! Now I see why the club has Duke in its name. This place looks like something you'd find in a castle, with all the leather, mahogany, and paintings all over the place. The club's bartender. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I suppose that's all right. I'm not too busy at the moment. My name's Victor. The club. Buy, drink, the club. So what's it like here? Do you like your job? 
It doesn't pay much, but the status you get from working for such a fine establishment makes it worthwhile. I thought you'd get paid well, considering the high class of this place and all. You would think so, yes. It started to unravel a bit lately. That's why they're opening a new restaurant, to make more money. That sounds like an interesting story. What more can you tell me? I've, I've said too much already. The club. Samuel. I'm supposed to interview Samuel, but I can't seem to find him. Do you know where he is? He might turn up soon. There's a lot of work to do before the grand opening. The club. Ah. Control center. Oops. Sorry, guys. The club. Bye, dr goodbye. Thank you so much, Victor. A telephone. Ah, dang mm. it. I don't need to call anyone at the moment. Wow. Dang it. The door to the lounge. A lounge with books, a pool table, and expensive armchairs to relax in. A well-dressed woman playing pool. I didn't even know that kind of shot was possible. Hello, I'm Patricia. Do you have a minute? You new here? The name's Veronica. Yes, I'm here to do a story about the club. The club. What do you think about the club? It's good enough to play pool in. Except for that fat, obnoxious man over in the corner who smells of cognac. Apparently, he's some kind of hotshot around here. At least it's what he tells anyone who cares to listen. Can't they throw him out so I can play pool in peace? <laughs> yes, there's a smell coming from there, all right. Samuel. Do you know where Samuel Silverglands is? Who's that? The club's owner. Sorry, not really a part of that crowd. Samuel. Sam the club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. <coughs> he smells of alcohol. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Would you mind answering a few questions? Uh, from Radio IDUN? Why, yes. I'm Oscar Silverglass, and I would gladly answer your questions. If only my throat wasn't so dry. Oscar Silverglands, are you related to Samuel? Sadly, he is my brother. Samuel. Samuel. Regarding Samuel. <coughs> my throat is simply parched. <laughs> if only I had a drink. Samuel, the club. What do you think about the club? Everything would have been much better if my brother hadn't banned me from the bar. Samuel, the club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. The door to the kitchen. I don't think it'll be appreciated if I snoop around where I don't belong. The door to the bar. Victor the bartender. Hello again. Yes? The club. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? What are you having? Dry martini. Gin and tonic. Dry martini. Cognac. Uh, cognac, please. My pleasure. The club. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? Oh, wait a minute. That's what, not what are I you want. having? Dry cognac. Scotch. Cognac. Uh, cognac, please. My pleasure. I can only carry one drink at a time. I'll leave the old one here. Oops. The club. The Bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Victor. The lounge. Oscar Silverglands. Hello. Samuel. The club. Goodbye. Give drink. Mm. 
Oh, a fine cognac with such aromatic complexities. What was it you wanted to talk about? Samuel. I'm looking for your brother Samuel. Do you know where he is? Uh, who did you say you were again? Patricia, from Radio IDUN. I'm here to interview him. Oh, right, right, yeah. He, he mentioned something about that. Uh, rather, he bragged about how he was gonna be on the radio. I can't find him. Do you know where he is? Yes, uh, would you like me to get him? Yes. Yes, please. Unless it's too much of a bother. Uh, hold on. I'll call him for you. He'll be at the bar in a minute. If you don't get any good answers from that wretch, you could always ask him about our father's foundation. <laughs> Thank you. The club. Goodbye. The club. What do you think about the club? Oops. Ah, uh, Samuel started to renovate the place, and it's turned out rather nice, even if he doesn't listen to my suggestions. He doesn't listen to you? I am part owner, after all. All three of us are, you know. But Samuel has ruled with an iron fist ever since he inherited most of our father's fortune. Didn't you receive an equal share? No. Father handed most of it over to Samuel. Now Sylvia and I have to live on what our dear brother provides. The club. Goodbye. The, the club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. To the bar. Ah, oh, Samuel is here. Now I can get my interview. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. It's about time you showed up. Interview. Do you have time for the interview now? Yes, that's fine. The restaurant. The club. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglands Club? I started it 20 years ago. You started it by yourself? I thought your siblings were part owners. Just because a piece of paper says so doesn't mean they did anything. I built this club from the ground up. The restaurant. And you'll soon be opening a new restaurant that'll be open to non-members as well. What's your view on the future? I thought it was time to do something new, and the restaurant business is very lucrative. So it's about money? Don't put words in my mouth. You will cut that from the interview. <clears throat> um, I felt it was time to give something back to the community. My father was a very generous man, and so am I. The restaurant. The family. I talked to your brother earlier. Don't listen to a word he says. So... That's enough about my brother. The, the restaurant. The fam... Your father. I realize this is a touchy subject, but I think the listeners would want to hear about your father, who passed away last month. You inherited most of his fortune. I don't hear a question. I'm wondering how this affects the club and the new restaurant. Plans for the development have been in place for a long time. With the inheritance, I was able to realize them. That's all I will say about my father. This wasn't very interesting. Maybe I should ask him about the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about your father's foundation? I don't want to talk about that. It'll be a better story, and it's something I think our listeners will want to hear about. I don't think so. Trust me, it'll be great. All right, but keep it short. Thank you. Can you tell me what kind of foundation it is? <laughs> if you haven't even bothered to find out yourself, I'm not going to tell you. No, I only, I only thought it would sound better if you were the one telling the listeners about it instead of me. Well, all right. My father created the Silver Glans Foundation to help the less fortunate. It was something he cared deeply about. Thank you. So... Why was it that he gave all the money to you, without providing something for the Foundation? That's not something I want to discuss. This was supposed to be about my restaurant, not my personal affairs. Your radio station's reputation seems very exaggerated, since they said an amateur like you. This interview is over. A sensitive subject, apparently. I can't leave this place without a real interview. Samuel didn't say much before he stormed off. 
There has to be someone around who can give me a good story. I guess I can snoop around a bit while I'm here. Richard had a member's card for the VIP room. I could start there. A giant man with a stern look. It looks like he's guarding the entrance to the VIP room. Hello, my name is Patricia. Could I ask you a few questions? Yes. The VIP room. The club. Do you enjoy working here at the club? Sure. Nothing else? No. <laughs> the VIP room. Could I take a look inside the VIP room? No. It's for the story I'm working on. No. The VIP. The club. Goodbye. The goodbye. I don't think I can get past that bouncer. There has to be another way inside. The lounge. Ah, crap. That's not what I wanted. To the bar. Where's the door to the kitchen? Direct touch area. Ah, crap. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. Bounce. Wow, wow. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, wait a second. The lounge. It's... Ugh. Dummy. The door to the kitchen. A reporter has to be willing to go where she is not welcome. A restaurant kitchen. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of pots and pans. Oh, there's an elevator as well. I wonder where it leads. A rather large chef. Hi, I'm Patricia. Do you have a moment? <laughs> a moment? We'll have to talk while I'm working. The VIP room. The, v the club. What do you think about the club? Yeah, it's really stressful. I don't understand how Mr. Silverglanz expects me to cook for all the guests in the new restaurant, too. There's no way I can manage it by myself. The VIP room. The club. Goodbye. The, the VIP. The VIP. Can you help me get into the VIP room? Why would I do that? Can't you see I've got my hands full? I'm from radio. Uh, quiet. I, I'm getting an order. Give me a sirloin steak with red wine sauce. I haven't got time to listen to the radio. I've got to get those orders ready for the VIP room. The waiter is ill today, and it's going to take me half the day to carry the food up all those stairs. There's an elevator over there. Can't you use that? You don't think I know about the elevator? Yes, it goes up to the VIP room, but the engine is busted. According to Mr. Silverglanz, an engineer is on the way. He's been saying that for the last three weeks. The club. Goodbye. Thank you very much. <gasps> Some kind of speaking tube. There are voices coming through it. Stairs to a basement. Maybe a food cellar? A dark basement. What are you doing here, Patricia? Mm -hmm. Okay. Free porch. Um, I know the timer hasn't gone off yet, but we're going to call it a day. Um, again, I apologize for the cliffhanger, but if you tune back in next week, you'll find out what happens. <laughs> Control Have center. a nice day, y'all. Selected. Bye. Screen recording. Button.